Welcome to the first episode of Paint With Me. So in this series, I'm taking one flower and I'm taking it around with me and allowing people to become the artist and I become the observer. Today I'm in Oakland, California, and I'm taking this beautiful carnation along with me. So carnations have a number of medicinal benefits. It reduces inflammation, helps with swelling, it calms the nervous system. Watercolor painting has the same effect. It is very calming, very soothing. And I started out in a place that I always go, I always go to a cafe to paint. If I want to just chill out, if I want to fill myself up with inspiration or just I want a peaceful environment, put on some relaxing music and I bring along this sketchbook. Now this sketchbook is by a brand called Aviva. They made this really cool travel kit that comes with a sketch pad and a really simple watercolor palette. So let's go to the first person and let's see how she chooses to create this carnation flower. It is, oh, okay. it is. So you said you you have used watercolors before in a uh -huh, uh -huh. in a class. We took a class setting. from a dear friend of ours who is a great, wonderful artist. Okay, okay, good. But I was the one in the class the that I was like, the least proficient. I like to make collages. Collage, okay, I do like right, collage. I like to do water, watercolors, water. Yeah, I'm not too good. No, I know you don't have to be good. At it. So just I don't have to be good. Onto here to get the color. Yeah. So just like squeeze so. the pen a little bit. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm -hmm. And then you just press it down, and it'll give you all the color that you need. Okay. Oh, I see. Okay. okay. All right. Are you Are you ready? Uh -huh. Oh, you're already doing it. Yeah. There you go. Oh, here's this pretty little carnation. No pressure. So this beautiful lady, her name is Verona. Um, she said she had used watercolors before, and but she had never used this particular brand. And I thought that she did such a beautiful job. I mean, she took what I already put on the paper and she just started to make it her own. I like, I love like the texture that she created. She's left-handed. I'm always impressed by left-handed people. Um, but for the most part, I realized that she had this this attitude of just like going for it and that's what I want people to get from this like there's such healing benefits in painting with watercolors especially when you learn how watercolors teach you how to surrender just do it just like just go for it try it you never know um you never know what you can do what you can create um we have we all have so much like childhood creativity locked in us and some of us haven't painted or used that creativity since we were children so within this series I want people to get that feeling of exploration that boost of energy and creativity and just uh, discovery back How do you feel about your final piece? Well, I feel great about it. Much better than I expected. Yeah. Yes. Was it relaxing for you? It was so very relaxing, yeah. yet inspiring. Okay. Good. Yeah. Good to know. Good to hear. Okay. Have you ever used watercolors before? Uh, yeah, just a little bit. Um, just dabbling and crafting. I picked it up, but I'm not very good at it, so it didn't stick. Okay. Well, we're going to have you to paint this carnation flower using uh, watercolors from... Wow. Viva. In any any form that you want to do, there's no right or wrong way. All right. Just just give it like a just go. Just give it a go. So I love that this painter had a completely different spin on this carnation flower than the previous painter. She painted it a lot more tightly, um, but it's, it was still just as expressive and just as vibrant. Now, while she's painting, I want to talk about some more medicinal benefits that I found from the carnation flower. So let's talk about carnation oil. Have you ever used carnation oil? Um, it can be used to treat toothaches. It helps with hair loss. And then one of the biggest benefits that I found is that it helps with eczema. So I thought that was pretty cool. I also realized that I had ordered a salad not too long ago and it came with these like flower petals. I didn't realize that those were actually carnation flowers. So you can also use carnation flower petals on desserts, on salads, on your food, and it has some benefits. You, how did you feel about painting this flower? Like, did it um, relax you? Did you? There was a moment where it was relaxing, but then when I was looking at my shape, 
I was like, this does not look like it. And then it was like, just worries them. <laughs> but it was relaxing. Yeah. You get in the zone. Right, yeah. right. You think you can make it like, um, like, a pro like a practice, a daily practice? Mm, I don't tend to stick to routines. So I don't know if it would be a daily practice. Okay. It'd, be some, it'd definitely be something where you want to sit down and kind of like... Get in, yeah, uh, yeah, take some time out. It. Yeah, have like a okay. relaxing moment. Just because it's a little like fun and you kind of just get a little, like kind of a freestyle or yep. with it. So. Okay. You know, if you practice, it'll, it'll, it'll come out good. Eventually. Perfect. Thank you. Well, I think it's beautiful. Thank so. you. Thank you so much for participating. So after I left the cafe, I went to a museum. Today's museum is the Oakland Museum. And there were a lot of people who were open and willing to paint. I mean, where else can you find people who love art more than a museum? I love this wall that had different sands from the new year. And I ran into this beautiful girl that was from Taiwan visiting with her family celebrating the new year. So let's see what she's going to create. So, um, what's your name? Lee. Lee? Yes. And have you ever painted using watercolors? You no. No? Okay. So this is a, this is a um, water brush pen. So you, I'm going to get you to take it mm -hmm. and then take the top off. It starts with your pen? Mm-hmm. And then you just squeeze it, just squeeze a little bit. So let's see, there you go, squeeze. So you see, drip, drip, drip. There you go. And then just try to paint this flower. Now I had no intentions on asking a child to paint, but I'm really happy that I did because I love the way she simplified it just by creating these hearts first, and then she began to fill it in. So she really started out with the fundamentals, which is just basic shapes, triangles, hearts, and started to fill in the color. Um, I would say watching her paint was probably the most relaxing session because she was just very much in her own zone, a lot like I was when I was a child and I would paint. I also love that her family was around her, just like cheering her on and taking photos and video. I thought that was really cool. So um, this is her finished painting. Very, very beautiful. Okay, so how do you, do you like it? Yes. Yes? What, did you find it relaxing? Yes. Now, while the next painter paints, let's talk about some more benefits of the carnation flower. Now you can take the carnation petals, you can dry it and use it in a tea. It is safe to drink every day. Consult your doctor before you listen to me. Um, but it's good for blood circulation. It strengthens your metabolism and it also breaks down toxins. So I thought that was fascinating. I've never tried carnation tea, but I'm excited to try it after learning all of these benefits. I love it. That's well, you're so nice. It's an abstract flower. I re no, I really do love like the movement in it. I like using this. Yeah, that's very convenient. Susanna, would you like to draw for this woman? I'd love to draw for this woman. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to commune with my own. I know, I was about to text. Now, the next painter is an artist. She says she's a sculptor, and I can tell she has some kind of artistic history because it's um, just because of the way she painted. I can just I can just pick up on it and tell. But the thing that I love the most about each person who painted is that um, the quietness that came with it. I look at watercolor painting like journaling. Um, or like meditating. So it's a way for me personally to get up, to get any kind of thoughts out, any kind of energy out. It's a way to just zone out. And it's to, for me, it has the same effect as like exercise and it releases endorphins. And it lets out um, any type of feelings, whether it's good or bad, and you just leave it onto the paper. And a lot of times, if you paint, which I encourage you to if you don't, you'll see that some of the, the way that you're feeling, if you're feeling calm, it comes across calm. If you're feeling anxious, it comes across anxious, but it's just a way to get it out.
is. I'm gonna have to get one. Thing. It is really terrific, and it takes. I love it. It took me a minute to figure out the I squeezing, like but you can actually control it enough to get the red lighter in mm -hmm. there. Sorry, mm -hmm. I should look at the camera. And it's not. okay. Thank yeah, you no, for this it, delightful opportunity. Can you do you mind sharing like how you how you felt while you were painting? Did you feel like relaxed? Did it kind of let but you fascinated? Fascinated. fascinated. You okay. Know, we all love new materials. Yeah. So the minute you get a chance to do something a little bit different, you're like, ooh, look what it can sounds do. good. Okay. So what's your name? My name's Imani. <laughs> and have you ever painted using watercolors before? A little bit. Just a little bit, a little not bit. so much. Recently. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm going to have you to paint this. I'm going to get you to grab that carnation flower. Yes. And it is a flower that is on its way out. Yeah, it's dying. That's okay. <laughs> but um, I find the beauty in like dying flowers because you can get different tones and variations. And then when the flower is dying, is when you can use it as like healing properties, medicinal properties, and stuff yeah. like that. So have a go at it. And all you have to do is just squeeze the pen a little bit to let some water out. This side? Mm hmm. And then you just dip it into the color. It's very cathartic. Mm hmm. Like the same way people go to the gym, you know. Exactly. Yeah, artists do art. And in the mornings, I like wake up and put on some meditation music and. You just paint? You just paint. Yeah. That's lovely. Now, with Imani, I just let her take her time, child. She um, is a massage therapist. But she's also in school studying to be a physical therapist. So she was taking a break at the museum. So I just let her take however long she wanted to take to paint. And I watched. And I did not realize that watching people paint. I know people say this to me all the time. That watching me paint is therapeutic for them. And it's relaxing. Um, watching you all paint. Especially these people who painted this video. Was very relaxing and therapeutic for me. So... I thoroughly enjoyed seeing her paint. I love that she was very meticulous with her details and used a very um, pointy end of the pen and she explored some with letting the waters flow. Okay, so was this relaxing for you? This was very relaxing. It was very nice to just unwind and take a break from responsibilities and just mm -hmm. take a moment to just paint and just it's very grounding. Yeah. 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 I would. Yeah. <laughs> I'm very happy to hear that. I'm going to get. Okay. We've reached the end of Paint With Me episode one. This video will be an ongoing series posted every single Sunday. I enjoyed seeing the creations that other people can create, especially the people who are using watercolors for the first time. If you're interested in trying any of these paints, you can use the link below to purchase it. This is a brand called Aviva. They are a family owned brand based out of Nasik, India. And I've been using this brand for a full year and I absolutely love it. I hope you all learned some more things about carnation flowers that you didn't know and leave some comments below. If you enjoyed this video, just let me know. All right, I'll see you next week. Peace.